All right, so an important part, if you're doing this scientifically, uh, surveying plant communities, you'll want to take some evidence for what you've seen. So it's not enough just to go through and record some names and say, I found these 10 different plant species. Uh, it's a good chance that somebody down the road will say, uh, I don't know if I trust you. You might have got the identification wrong. So as uh, an answer to that, we take physical plant specimens. So we take uh, actual plants from the field and preserve them in our herbarium and uh, use those as, as really long-term uh, con confirmable evidence of having the species present in a place. Uh, if you're going to collect anything, just keep in mind that you need to have permission to do that. A lot of people, if they see you digging up plants in any area, they're gonna get suspicious about that. Uh, we're at the Whitewater Nature Preserve, so this is part of the, the purpose of this facility is to uh, allow us to teach. So the teaching is teaching involves digging up some plants here. Uh, I'm going to show you one to start with. So I've got a shovel here, just kind of a garden spade. And then depending on the plant I'm collecting, I've also got some garden shears. So I'm going to try to fit this to a standard sheet that I'll show you in a bit. And some plants fit nicely if you dig up the whole plant. Uh, for those plants, you want to collect the underground parts also in case there are any uh, special roots or underground features like tubers uh, that are worth identifying the, the plant using those features. If anything's too big for that, you can cut it. Uh, this goes for large herbaceous plants as well as, of course, the woody plants. You'd have to cut part of them to get that. So I'm going to collect one of these uh, sedges here. And I want to, sedges are a little bit tricky. You want to sort of follow down to the base of what you want to grab. So well, parsnip check, there's one there. Uh, quite a few of these in here. This is another thing you want to verify when you're collecting plants. Just make sure there's enough that the habitat can stand losing a few. Um, so to, to dig these out, I'm going to put the spade mostly down, uh, sort of next to the plant, and then loosen the soil oh, in the vicinity. Um, many a good plant species specimen has been kind of mucked up by somebody just grabbing at the base and pulling. So I kind of dug out this piece of soil. Uh, I'm going to shake off the soil. Of course, I don't want to take that with me and collect the soil. Uh, some amount of roots can be lost, of course. Uh, as we get here, kind of see that the overall structure is emerging. So this is a, a graminoid or grassy-like plant has fibrous roots. And that's probably a good amount of plants to collect. Uh, she's a big one. Uh, this is a little bit taller than our standard sheet, but I'll be able to bend it over to make that collection. I'll show you in a little bit. Thanks. Don't. 